This video is sponsored by X Jimmy. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we're checking out something new. This right here is the X Jimmy Horizon Pro. Now you might be wondering, Jeff, what the heck is that? If you couldn't tell by this giant lens over here, this thing is a 4K projector and it's got a pretty compact body, but I'm telling you guys, this thing packs a punch. Over the years, I've been able to use quite a few different projectors, but I gotta say, this one is actually really surprising because of what it's capable of. So this guy's got a 4K optical lens right here. So that's straight up 4K, no upscaling or pixel shifting. This is the real deal. I like this small form factor because it allows it to be placed just about anywhere. You've got the little thread on the bottom. So if you wanna throw this thing on a stand, you can go ahead and do that. But it allows you to move this thing just about anywhere. Now what's crazy is this thing can get up to 300 inches, you guys. Insane. So I've got a pretty nice home theater in my house and this is like, can double. It's big yeah, it can, it can do more than what I've got at home, Jay. And that's a pretty large screen. Now the picture quality that we've been able to get out of this guy has been really awesome. And we'll show you guys what we're talking about. So not only can this thing project onto a massive screen, but it's actually really bright. It has 2200 ANSI lumens which means it can be put in a room like this right now, project on the screen with no problem. With any projector, you don't wanna put it in like the brightest room in the house, it just doesn't make sense. The darker the room, the better the picture quality always. But with that kind of brightness, you can get away with a bit. But real quick, let's take a quick look in the back, see what kind of IO we get. So we've got our power cable, we've got an optical cable, so if you wanna hook up some audio, you can. You've got two USB ports, and you've also got two HDMI ports, so if you wanna throw on some like gaming consoles. You can go ahead and do that. It supports an ethernet port as well as an audio jack, 3.5 millimeter. So you can pretty much hook up whatever you'd like to this. Surprisingly, this thing has Harman Kardon speakers and they sound really good. I honestly didn't expect much from something with this form factor. I mean, look at it, it's small, but the speakers are really dope. Now what really threw me with this projector is not how great the image quality was or how great the sound was, but how easy it was to actually use it. So all we did was pop this thing on, put in the power cable, turned it on, and guys, we were literally set up in like a couple of seconds. I just had to grab my phone, sync up through Android TV, and I didn't have to do anything. Now it's one thing to be able to skip typing in email addresses and logging into different apps and all that, but what was really awesome was just being able to throw it on top of that and it automatically looked good on my wall. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about now, actually. We'll just pop this thing on and you'll see, without any special adjustments, it's gonna look pretty good up there. So all I gotta do now, grab the remote. Thank you, Jay, thank you. And check this out. So we can turn this thing on and now that it's on, you guys can see that looks pretty sharp. It's it's just the logo, but I didn't have to adjust anything in order to make it look sharp on the wall. So right now it's calibrating so that it can get the best picture quality, best sharpness, and that's as soon as you throw it down. That is insane because there are usually little dials on projectors so you can get the focus right so you can get it to line up the way you need it to. You don't have to worry about any of that. You just turn it on, put it where you need to point it where you need to point it, and boom, you're pretty much good to go. All right, so now we're signed in. We've got something playing on the screen. But yeah, you see right now, we're not, we're not even taking up the full wall, and we don't need to, but I just wanna show you guys just how this thing can automatically adjust. And once you move a projector, You've always got to fix it up a little bit, but if I move this thing back a bit, check it out guys, we're back to looking super, super sharp. And I didn't have to do anything extra. It does it all automatically. It keeps everything looking really great. And if you, for whatever reason, feel like you need to change it up a little bit, maybe make some adjustments, some fine tuning, you can just jump into the settings and then go to keystone correction and it'll automatically do the keystone correction and then you can add a little bit more. 
So this is what it looks like originally. Holy mess. That's pretty bad, Jay. <laughs> My placement was way off. And then it'll fix it up. Now what's cool about that automatic keystone feature is like, let's say something was in front of the screen at the time of it adjusting, it'll factor in that object being there and automatically adjust so that that object isn't in the way of the content. So if you're somebody who doesn't like messing around with a ton of settings to get the picture just right, this guy makes it really easy to just pretty much plug it in and let it do its thing. So we've got our studio lights on still in here. So let's just shut it all down and show you guys just what we can get out of this guy. Oh man, that's a big difference, you guys. So not only does it look good, but let's bump up the audio. When they're so busy fighting you. Now, mind you, this is actually performing quite well, and this is not a dedicated screen for watching content on a projector. This is just my wall in the studio, painted whatever color it came with, and it still looks really good. So you can project on any wall? Yeah, you can project on any wall. Now, depending on the wall and the color, that impacts your image quality, but I mean, just going based off this regular paint that we've got here, this is doing a really good job. It looks good, right? Yeah. I have a white wall in my house. Carl, leave me alone. <laughs> now clearly, this thing is a super smart projector. It's got good quality. I'm happy that it has Android TV because with the Play Store, you can find all the apps that you're looking for and make signing in super easy since it's all connected to your Google account. I'm always looking at products from a end user perspective. How easy is it going to be to get one of these up and running in the home? And this thing is crazy crazy simple. Not to mention, with that kind of design, you can throw that thing on like a coffee table or pretty much anywhere and it's not going to be an eyesore. It's not a bad looking projector by any means, so if you've got like a nice modern setup, it's gonna fit right in. Now, of course, with all those smart features, it being able to project up to 300 inches, being 4K, it is a premium device, you guys. So it is not cheap by any means, but if you're looking at something that's really high quality, simple to use, the XGME Horizon Pro is definitely worth checking out. Now, the Horizon Pro is using XGME's XView image engine system, which allows for a lot of cool features when it comes to the image quality. So of course, it uses AI to produce the best image quality. Now that is factoring in the environmental light, all those kind of things. It's able to survey basically what kind of image it's putting on and what the environment is like around you and give you the best quality content. So for me, I really like this guy. It is a really nice compact projector with a lot of punch going for it. Uh, I'll of course have links down below in the description for you guys to check it out. Uh, but XGME has quite a few options, uh, but the Horizon Pro is serious stuff. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you got some insight into some new cool projectors. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. So then it's your average consumer. Peace. All right, Carl, you can borrow it. Thank you for a date, you feel me? <laughs>